that's on there. All right, on to the next series. We get to talk about my team. <laughs> New York Knicks. Knicks, fourth seed in the East. Fourth in the East, baby. And they're taking on the Atlanta Hawks. They are the fifth seed. Uh, Knicks will have the home court advantage. MSG is going to be rocking. I will be in the building for game five. Um, assuming the Knicks don't get swept, I don't see that. No, no, see that. Um, but this is this is an interesting series, right? Because you've got the Knicks, who are a defensive first team, bringing the energy, Thibodeau culture, whatever you want to say. The fans like Eric Chang are hyped. There's let's go <laughs> Knicks, Knicks tape all the time. Atlanta is a very good offensive team. Mm-hmm. Uh, Trey Young's been fantastic. Bogdanovich has been really good. We've seen what they've done down the strength. We've seen what a good coach Nate McMillan can do for them, Pacers. We've seen what can <laughs> happen there, right? So this is a very, I would say, at least an interesting first-round series. And I think it should be pretty um, entertaining as well, too, guys. I think you should see this to be very entertaining. Now, this is in terms of the correct score in the series and what it will be. The Knicks sweeping which I don't necessarily want because that means I won't get to go to game five, but that's at plus 1,400. Knicks winning in five, which I'd like to see. That's at plus 650. Knicks in six, plus 475. Knicks in seven, plus 475. Hawks sweeping, plus 1,200. Hawks in five, plus 550. Hawks in six, plus 425. And Hawks in seven at plus 425. Brian, I'm going to start with you. Um, Are the Knicks going to get aggressive? Are they going to mess things up for you for uh, Murph's boy Trey Young? <laughs> hey, is, is things going to get a little too tough tough for them? How do you see this series playing out? Who you got your money on? So we talk about the differences between regular season basketball and playoff basketball, and there's something to that. Even still, even in this offensive era, you saw it last night twice. Both games, it was like both were grinded out games. Scores around a hundred, like it was very reminiscent of the basketball from you know, the era previously in terms of how things look all the time. You're just seeing it now in the playoffs. I think that's going to be something that carries over. And I think that favors the Knicks because every game they play is kind of like that. Every game they play stylistically, you know, you say what you want about Tibbs and his minutes and all those things. I think the minutes thing is a little bit overblown uh, as we've seen with, you know, some of the other guys that he's coached, like Derrick Rose is fine. Jimmy Butler's fine. Like they have their little knickknacks every now and then, but so does, fucking everybody in this league at this point because of the AAU era. That's another discussion for another day. Um, though Jimmy Butler didn't play AAU. But still, I think I'm going to lean with uh, Knicks and seven here. That's just sort of what my head's been telling me. I probably – I might have gone Hawks and seven if they got uh, the fourth seed and, you know, they were able to get home court, so to speak. But even so, I, th- I just think playoff basketball favors tips, favors the Knicks. And in terms of star players go – who would I rather have in a playoff style game between Julius Randle and Trey Young? I'm taking Julius Randle. You know, Trey Young's got to prove it to me because I'm not sure that what he does can sort of translate um, against this team who, you know, is very, very good defensively. That's not to say that he's not going to play well, though. I just think that they're going to have some stuff for him that can sort of get him off his game. But Nate McMillan is one reason why I think the Hawks could still win this series because he's been a great coach and he's a coach of the year candidate based on the limited uh, time that he served in Atlanta where they were so much better after they fired Lloyd Pierce. Lloyd Pierce. So I'm rolling with Nixon 7 plus 450. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty con- I'm more confident in that than I was at the last series. That's for damn sure. All right, Knicks and seven, Murph. Uh, are you also going with the Knicks? Or are you going with your boy Ice Trey? <laughs> I think I think Ice Trey will perform. I think uh, he's a serious competitor, and uh, when the when the lights are on, he tends to do his thing. So I think he's gonna. I think he'll show up and show and prove. I just don't think Atlanta has enough. Beyond that, in, in, especially in terms of toughness, um, it's a little surprising to me that Atlanta is a slight favorite in this series. Uh, the, the Knicks' home court advantage is pretty big to me. They, I, I feel like they had one of the best home courts uh, in the league, even with limited fans. So I'm going to go Knicks in seven. I do think this is going to be a great series. It could go either way. I do think Atlanta has a you know decent shot to win it, um, but. You know, I just, you know, it's it's all about matchups. And when you put the Knicks hard nose, grinded out, old school defense against kind of like, you know, some of those, some of these Atlanta Hawks are like light in the pants. You know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> you know, they, I like that. Light in the butt. You know uh-huh. like, it was like uh-huh. <laughs> a real 
bruiser type. No, you know what I'm saying? You got Bogdanovich, you know, he's nice and finesse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think no, I think Capella will be a big will be a big factor, but I gotta go Ooh. Knicks and seven. They grind out the series here. All right, wow. another, another Knicks and seven. Uh, Gerard, uh, what what are, what are we doing here? Are, are you going to be light in the pants or are you going to bet right so you're not light in the pockets? <laughs> well, we talked about staying on brand, and I was the only one who did not pick the Knicks to smash their Las Vegas we, preseason. Here we, here we go. <laughs> no, no, look. Look, I will say that light, light, light in the pants or light in the butts is a funny thing. Only thing we, we talk about that in football, right? We talk about offensive linemen. They're always like, eh, you're a little light in the butt. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, anyway, I mean, I get it. I know what I know what they're trying to say. You don't got enough meat. I get there's that. A, there's a better way to say that, though. Right, right, right. There's exactly. Be a better way to say that. But you know, damn Murph, the DeAndre Hunter and John Collins and 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 Clint Capella slander from you. If these guys aren't good, I don't know. Um, oh, you're look. not gonna like. You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Okay. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I will say this: the Knicks defense is legit. I mean, defense travels in the postseason. We know this. What I worry about the Knicks, though, is offensively scoring points. Because, look, Julius Randle is who he is, but the rest of them dudes, like uh, R.J. Barrett, he's another one. You got to show me, son. Regular season was nice. Show me. Derrick Rose, can I count on you to give me 20 a night? Uh, maybe. You know, like, I, I don't know, right? All that being said, Knicks fans, stand up. MSG going to be rocking. 15,000 in the garden. Get ready. Knicks in seven, baby. <laughs> Another Knicks in seven. All right. So here's the thing for me with this series. Now, the, the Knicks fan, I mean, I'm not going to be a homer or anything. I'm going to call it as it is. Knicks are bad. They're bad. They're good. They're good. You guys talked about, Gerard talked about the offense. And I watched the Knicks in the final week of the season against two, a couple actually, I said three pretty good playoff defenses. They played the Suns. They played the Clippers. They played the Lakers. They ended up one and two in those games. But I saw some things down the stretch in those games I liked. Saw Julius Randle hitting big shots over big time defensive players, AD, uh, PG. I, I like some of the Knicks' execution down the stretch. I don't think the Hawks can defend. I see you smiling, Gerard. Put the camera on Gerard. We see him smiling. Murph, I see you smirking. Brian, I see you smirking. I hope y'all know what's coming. Knicks in five, baby. Wow. We're talking Knicks in five. Homer. All the no, 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 no. No homerism. I don't believe in Atlanta. You know what I believe? I believe Atlanta can't stop anybody. I believe they can't even stop the Knicks, and the Knicks offense isn't that good. And I think the Knicks offense, they're going to turn it up another level. The fans are going to be turned up in MSG. We'll be the Knicks are going to take the challenge on the road. You go to Atlanta, what's down in Atlanta? Tons of transplant New Yorkers. It's like another home game. And, and, and lemon pepper chicken wings. And lemon pepper chicken wings. <laughs> stay, stay out of strip club, Knicks. I, but I, I think the Knicks will do fine playing in Atlanta. It's like a second home. I think this is a series tailor made for them. I got the balls. I'm go, I got something. Go ahead, homie. Say, say, say it with your chest. Say it with your I'm chest. Not, I'm, not lighting, I'm not lighting the pants on this bet. We're not doing anything light in the pants here. It's not happening. Knicks in five plus 650. Book it. I'm wow. with Eric Chang. Under like every it. game. Let's go. I that, like that, it. I like it. So, so Dex, I was really – see, I chickened out because I was leaning kind of that pants, way. I, <laughs> I was leaning kind of that way because I I think the Knicks are going to win both of the first two games. And that gives you a shot at getting to five because if you steal one on the road and you're going back to MSG, all is in your favor. strong, yeah, screaming. You know what I mean? Talking like about I, Trey's receding hairline coming at him. Right. I have a hard time seeing Atlanta winning a road game in this series. Uh, maybe we're overstating it a little bit because last time, you know, Atlanta was beating the Knicks over there and then Trey Young got hurt and that sort of changed the game. Uh -huh. uh, we'll end up seeing what happens, but hey, playoff basketball. What can I playoff say? Playoff basketball. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I like this matchup for the Knicks. Uh, I don't know how much more the Knicks will do past this, but I do like this matchup for them. I think it works well for them. And you know, the one player that scares me, Murph brought up, I will say that I do think Clint Capella is a huge factor in the series. Uh, in the games he's played against the Knicks, he was really great on the offensive boards. He's been great on the mm -hmm. offensive boards all year. Uh, Gerard and I talked on uh, NBA Exchange a couple weeks ago about how he had a chance of being third team All-NBA center. He mm -hmm. had a legit shot of being in the conversation to that. So I think that's something to keep an eye on. I think who controls the boards in the series is going to be huge. Um, but I like uh, the Knicks to do it playing team defense. So, you know, shout out, shout out to Nick McMillan. We'll We're working the refs already. Talking about the refs, New York bias, how the league wants the, the, the Knicks to go far because, you know, ratings. 
Go ahead, Nate. Do your thing. I see you, Playboy. Yeah, I gotta respect. I gotta respect that. I gotta respect that from Nate. Respect I mean, respect it's kind of it's kind of a weak move, but he's willing to pay that. He, does, he, knew, he knew he was gonna pay that twenty five grand, right? And he's like, I can say it anyway. So, I mean, because he ain't exactly wrong. The, the Adam Silver would prefer it if the Knicks continued on. Like, he's not lying. Yeah, he's not lying, but you can't come out and say that the refs are doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but hey, he's he's putting his money where his mouth is. Well, he has to. He's forced to. But yeah, it is what it is. All right, guys, moving on.